Everyone small dish boy Eduardo Apple, all of design genius, and we are present here at Yaoundé Angola Fab Lab. Um, we did a video talking about numerical fabrication. So today we are going to be talking about one of the machines that is 3D printing machine and how we could use it to realize certain projects. Okay. Now, so problem that we want to first of all solve. Let me explain. As you can see, I have some business card with me. I have a linear caliper, or it could be a ruler. I have a phone, I have some pencils and uh, pen. So if you have all these objects on a daily basis, you need somewhere where you can keep all these objects and be able to pick them and be able to work with your phone. Okay, we have already seen the problem that we have. So that's the problem of space and where we are going to keep this object. So what we are going to do is that we are going to design uh, a system or a, a part that is going to be capable to of making me to handle well my phone to keep all this object that's a business card and also the the pen and pencils and also where I can keep my venia caliper. So that's why we came out with the design that we're going to explain to you how we came out with the design and how we're going to realize the object using the American fabrication method that is 3D printed to be design. So now we're just going to go to the lab. So we are going to go so follow me here. So you can see normally in the real office mode I have so many objects and it's not good, it's not nice. So before talking to you about 3D printing, last, uh, last, on last video I presented to you other stuff like that have been done with 3D printing. So everyone knows uh, the face mask is the time of coronavirus. So this is an object that was designed here at Umbrella Park Lab. It could be used to protect you again, to protect you against coronavirus. So that's one technique it was 3D printing. So it is what it uh, as you can see, we also have laser cutting. So, laser cutting, you can see that you can take a material and uh, come out with a design. Uh, you can use a laser cutter to cut this stuff up and then mount it. So, that's not what we're going to do today. What we're going to do today is I'm going to present to you the design. So, as you can see, I have the design on my computer already. So, I have the design already in my computer. So, you are going to see. The design artist is there. So this is the design. I'm going to create a video where I'm going to explain to you only what the design is doing. At, at this level, you are seeing already that I have a pen, a pen that is here. So I'm capable of putting pens here, and here capable of putting a ruler at this level. Uh, here I'm capable of keeping my business card at this level, and here I'm capable of putting my phone. At this surface level and here you just have simple design genius angular fab lab so this is a design that uh, i saw that it works very well somewhere online and i decided to design and adapt the design so it could solve my problem so this is actually what i have here for the design and uh, once the design is, is done you need to be a good designer to design all this stuff all i need to do is to save and convert this file to an stl file so i could print so as you can see, the, the file is having different zones. So all these parts is just part that we wanted to assemble them because it will reduce the printing time. So if I go to the software that we use to print, which happens to be Cura, to show you, you're going to see how I'm going to print my part. So this is how my part is going to look like. As you can see, this is the part that we have here. So I'm going to launch a run analysis to see how the part is printing. So you can see here, you can see how the printer is going to print my part. As you are seeing on the screen here. So for the part before this what we are going to get, just like the design, I'm going to clean it. I'm going to go back to this software. So this is what I'm going to obtain. I'm going to clean, mount, and assemble this part to have this as you can see here. So that's just the basic design. When if you want to design, you're not obliged to use SolidWorks. SolidWorks you have to pay the license. You can use Tinkercad, you can use uh, Fusion 360, there are free software that you can use make sure that you come out with designs just like this and what you need to know when you are working with 3D printing, 3D printing is that you don't need to click here and take the save as save as when you click on save as uh, make sure you use the extension stl once your file is safe you need to open cura and once you open cura you import your stl file when you drop your register file, you open, you save your code. If everything is okay, you will generate the G code. Mm -hmm. It's a G code that you put now into a USB key or an SD card yes. to go towards the printing machine. If you observe here, you're going to see that I'm using Ultimaker 2 Plus for simulation. 
Now, if you follow me with the camera, you are going to see that um, at this level here, I have Ultimaker 2 Extended Plus. So, this is the name of the printer, and that's why I'm using the printer here to carry out the simulation so that I could have a real time estimation of how the product looks like. As you can see down here, it showed 10 hours for printing, so you discover that it's a good design, but it takes time that is printing materials and also the time that it takes for it to print. So you can confirm with me, so you can confirm with me that if I want to realize a part like this that's going to have this dimension, if I realize one, it's going to take me approximately about 10 hours to have one. So it's very expensive, that is a material and also it takes a lot of time. So to solve this problem, just like how we're talking about laser cutting, we are going to make sure that certain parts of our, our design that happens to be played, we could do them, we could cut them out using a laser cutter, meaning that we could come out uh, with another design that works perfectly with a laser cutter. So we could cut it with a laser cutter and just print this upper part, adapt it with our geometrical structure and we'll have something to place uh, object. So now that you've seen it, uh, we're just going to show you the end product of the design after. So here is where I'm going to place my phone on it. So I'm going to manipulate my phone. I'm able to take a pen. So if I want to manipulate my phone on this design, I could just put here. I'm going to place my phone. And here I'm going to put my business card inside here. I'm going to put my pen and pencil. Uh, my pen and pencil with the dimensions up here. I'm going to put everything. So that's how it's going to be the ruler. I'm going to put this here inside or like this. So this is how the system is going to be like. So we are going to watch and follow up the 3D printing that's going on. And after this number of hours, so we're going to cut the video. And after this number of hours, we are going to stop. So I know some of you will be asking that how do we live from the G code to the computer is simple. If you follow me here, you're going to see an SD card. So an SD card. This is the SD card that you extract and you plug it here into your computer. And once you put your SD card in your computer, it's just like it's normal slot. You slot it inside and you send your G code inside the computer. You come, you put it inside back here at this slot. You'll be able to use this button to command and choose the file that you want to work. So it's very simple. The machine is on from behind. So from behind, the machine is on from behind. If I want to on the machine from behind, I just come behind here to on the machine. And if I want to start, everything is here. I just uh, hit start. Once my work is set, I just hit start and it will continue, continue working. So we are going to observe the design and uh, we are going to put pause to the video. And once the design is set, we're going to show you how we assemble the part and also how we are using it. So I hope this video was interesting and I found it interesting and this video was able to teach you about 3D printed technology and also numerical fabrication. Like I said, uh, my name is Agbo Edward Ransom and I'm present at Pongola Fab Lab Yaoundé. So you can visit the lab for your projects and other stuff.